warm welcome to my youtube channel thank you so much for clicking to watch this video if you are new here please consider subscribing make sure that you also tap on the post notification bell so that whenever i post a new video you are going to get a notification in today's video i'm going to talk about several things that you are not supposed to do in your new business so i'm talking to you about this because i have been in business for several years so these are things that i did and definitely i regretted so i don't want you to go through the same especially if you are new in business or even if you're not very very new in business these are things that actually will help you not get yourself into such horrible mistakes that i did myself when i had a shop uh, because definitely i had a retail shop in cosmetics and other products and right now as a wholesaler i'm also like um applying the same things that i'm going to teach you today number one thing you should never do in your new business is give out products on credit do not please do not even if this person comes to you and tells you uh, that Ninaenda kushukana. For example, if you're talking about um, in a cosmetic setting and uh, maybe you have a nearby salon there and then this person tells you that I have a customer and this customer um, has not yet paid. So I will request for like several uh, pieces of braids and maybe hair food and maybe gel or something or even if uh, it's another product like shoes let me get a few pairs and go uh, help my customer fit them and then i'm going to bring the money do not i repeat don't give anything on credit maintain that distance between you and your customers remember that this is not a friendly relationship maintain that distance with your customers let it be cash on order that's it secondly do not accept any returns so somebody has gone with product x and then after staying with it for two days they are realizing i don't need this product anymore do not accept that because um it is unethical to do that it is it is even I don't know the, the right term to use, but it doesn't make sense that you've gone with a product, you've stayed with it day one, day two, and then this is when you're realizing, I this product is not good as I thought. Uh, the way the pictures were looking is not as good as it looks. And that is why it is very, very necessary to have a receipt. And every time you have a receipt, you will read down there. It is normally written, um, goods once sold cannot be reaccepted. That is the only thing that will help you in case this thing blows out of proportion. And then you're going to thank me later. Number three, do not entertain business idlers. So sometimes you have maybe a TV in your shop or not even a TV. Somebody just wants to come and give you update news about what is happening around you or the competitor is selling things at this particular price or they are, they are very expensive. So somebody is coming to your shop to discuss other people in your premises. Do not entertain. Do not. So how do you not entertain such kinds of behaviors? By not showing interest. There is a way in which you can just behave and this person will say, hey, this person is not interested in my stories, you know. So that is one way in which you can avoid idlers in your shop. Don't entertain people that will come start laughing and howling in your shop because number one, what will happen is, if I come to your shop and they want to purchase something like makeup um, and then people are laughing and maybe I'm, I'm, I'm a shy girl, I just want to come and inquire which skin type is this, which makeup can I use to like uh, block the blemishes that I have or the sunburns and um, most of these people that are idlers because they don't have anything to lose, they will start laughing at the customer and like which is which face is there to apply makeup to begin with you know and then uh some some people will just discuss customers the customer is okay they are looking good but definitely there is this person that is an idler in a shop after the customer gets out of the shop they can laugh and even talk something and then laugh and this will deter customers from coming to your premises so please watch out on that also every time you make sales in your shop sana. do not eat all the profits make sure that if you you started with a capital of 5000 kenyan shillings your 5000 the next day total 5800 all this 800 should go back into the business because that is how you increase capital in your business so make sure that you also adhere to that so that at least your business can also grow something else that you're not supposed to do is 
sell a lot of diverse products and yet every particular product is very few in your shop so what i mean is if the capital that you invested in the business is very very small ensure that you only add on to the stock that is in the shop um, and not adding other products at the expense of these ones that are almost getting over okay let me now rephrase that sentence so let's say you started your business with 10 10,000 shillings and maybe for each particular product you bought eight pieces eight pieces eight pieces of of braids eight pieces of crochet hair hair crochets eight pieces of weaves so when you get profit you're going now to buy a different product like a, a wig so what i'm trying to say if you started with very very low capital just go and restock the products that you bought which were so so few that you would want to make them increase in numbers and i also have to mention this at this particular point also that we have a shop in kamkunji our specific shop location is in mokore building shop jj26 i am a stockist or a supplier or a bulk wholesaler in shoes and a bit of cosmetics here and there and you are all welcome we are located in Mokore building shop jj26 just next to the kampunji trade center thank you so much for taking your time to watch this video up to this particular point i'm going to see you on my next video mm -hmm.